Hi my friends, welcome back uh, to Fantastic Me and today we're going to be trying uh, some uh, grilled chicken with some Spanish white rice and uh, we're going to be trying it with Mal uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, Alexander Valley uh, and then we also have a little Malbec left from a couple days ago um, This seemed very very robust, very big uh, 2016 proverbial Cabernet Sauvignon and Napa Valley so I decided to make myself a little blend with a little Malbec Hmm. It's still very rich, but it's not as um, not as high tannins. Uh, this one has very high tannins. Almost doesn't allow you to taste the fruit. Um, sure, once it opens up, uh, it'll be nice. Uh, this glass right here has just the ca the cap right here. Hmm. It is nice though. A lot of high tannins. Barely of any of the fruit, a little bit of cocoa behind it. Um, we're gonna have to try and, you know, take a little bite of like this burnt part. Hmm. Did you try with the cab? Wow. Now I added a little bit of um, Raymond Vineyards from the other from a couple days ago. Uh, that I had. I'm gonna bring that bottle right over so you guys and it's right here. And uh, to, the, to this one, this one's right, this one's the one right in between these two right here, this one and this one. This one has this one and this one and this is just pure Cabernet Sauvignon right here, okay? The one with Raymond Vineyards, uh, it gave it like a nice finesse taste uh, approach to it. The Raymond Venus was very soft, uh, some hints of vanilla. It really, it really softened it up. And then I blend my wines though. Like I said, you don't have the wine sometimes. It's this, you know, this couple of bottles here, Raymond Venus and the Malbec are from a couple of days ago. This one we just opened up, so it's gonna be very, very big. Um, you know, so but this one, I, I kind of know my wines enough to blend them. No, the Malbec, the Malbec and the, and the Cabernet Sauvignon blend was not a good blend. Okay, even though this is softer now, this is way big, a lot of high tenants. This one had a lot of high tenants to begin with. Not bad, it's still softer than just the cab. Even though this was very sharp the first day. Um, like I said, this is not bad either, you know, just the cab by itself. A very cigar box, I would say. Uh, definitely some pepper in the back of it. High tannins. They really try to go for the Bordeaux twist, um, which is fine. Um, there's something else I taste in that I can't put my finger on. And um, let me see if, eh, almost put my finger on it. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try some of the chicken here and see if. Uh, that actually gives it a little bit more of flavor. Mm. 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 I'm gonna try it with just the cab. Mm. Mm. She's really, really nice with the food. Really nice. Usually you're gonna get that from any cab or any Malbec. Even though this Cabernet, uh, proverbial Cabernet, has a very short finish, it goes really well with the food. Wow, I'm shocked. I didn't think it was gonna burn nicely though. I'm gonna try some of this chicken again with the one, the blend that I made from Raymond Vineyards and the Cabernet Sauvignon. It's a Raymond Vineyards blend, red blend, with a proverbial Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay, we're gonna try that. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Now this tasted really good on its own. If I was gonna just drink it by itself, it was a nice blend though. But with the food, 
Proverbio Cabernet Sauvignon was better, just alone. Better than any of the blends that I made, okay? Um, I'm gonna try a little bit of rice, I'll soak up some of this alcohol. Um, here's the rice. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I'll try some more of this chicken here. This is really good. Good, good chicken. And this time we're gonna use the skin. I'm gonna try it with the Malbec and Cabernet blend. See what that see how that works out. Hmm. Not too bad. No. It's very smoky. I'm gonna try a little bit of this cab by itself. Wow. So you supposed to show you, I just found out that with blends, you know, that you're making at home, you're, it's kind of a far-fetched idea. You don't want to really just blend stuff. Unless you're going to drink it on its own, you kind of play with it. See what, you know, what percentages you like on, of each one better. But that's to drink on its own. You don't want to do that if you're going to be eating something. In this case, the Cabernet right here, proverbial Cabernet, with the food alone, it's better. Okay, just so you know. Um, so you don't want to mess around too much with messing and mixing the wine. You want to maybe get like a Merlot or a Cabernet with any kind of meat. Uh, it really makes it that much better. Uh, even a Zinvin, they could probably go with this, but I really recommend a Merlot and a Cab with some of this um, delicious chicken. I mean, look at that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It is black for guys. I'm gonna go for the I'm gonna go for the Cabernet because it's just that good. I even left it open so some of the high tendons can go away. Wow. Mmm. You gotta say not the best cabernet for the occasion. Um but I didn't like the way it tasted when it's on. I think it needs to open up. It's one of those stuff, this is one of those stuff of Cabernets that you want to let it age for a couple years, okay? So I think it needed some more time on the bottle. I think it was my fault that I opened it a little bit early. It's 2016, so I thought it was ready, but usually you probably wanted to wait till like 2023 to open that bottle. But who wants to wait that long? I don't want to wait that long. You know, I have this beautiful chicken here that I want to pair with it, and I'm not going to wait that long either. So here's the wines, so you can take a look at them for a minute while I cut my chicken. There's Raymond Beanies right here. Mm. Go back to Raymond Beanies Cabernet Sauvignon blend. Mm. Not bad. Decent. Decent. But this is something you want to drink on its own. The Malbec and the Cab are okay with it too. Uh, the Cabernet by itself was way better. This room being used by itself. I really didn't care so much for the blend with the Malbec and the Cab. Really, didn't, They really didn't mix well. Uh, even though I could play with the percentage and stuff, but when you're ready to eat, you don't want to be... You don't have time to play for percentages. When you're drinking and only drinking, you have time to play with it. And it's a lot of fun. But when you're actually trying to eat, you know, and enjoy some good meat, and then, you know, try and play with the wines, uh, you can see I have my glasses from Camus Vineyard right here. Camus, oh, you can't really see it. Okay, Camus. Yeah, my right, Camus Vineyard. And I have a glass right here from Castellia Morosa. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, you know, of course, then you know, you're not gonna pay $20 a bottle per Cabernet. You're gonna pay when you go to, you know, for a Cabernet from Napa Valley, you're gonna be paying a hundred and some dollars a bottle. That's a big difference. But this Cabernet is really good for the price. I mean, you gotta say that once it opens up and everything, it really blends in okay with the food. So we talked about price points and quality. Very decent quality. Proverbial Cabernet Sauvignon 2016. Raymond Vineyard's phenomenal blend. I made my own blend right here. Out of the two here. Uh, Proverbial Cabernet and uh, Raymond Vineyard's. The Malbec Cabernet Sauvignon blend I didn't like. And the Cabernet Sauvignon right here by itself and this glass really good 
not a very very decent for the price I mean a $20 a bottle of cap from Alexander Valley is not just your uh, average cap it's, you're looking at good quality it's opening up now it's starting to taste good starting to taste a little better a lot of the fruits starting to come in the flavors of the fruits starting to come in a little bit slowly but surely guys um, these are far things that I do here at Wintastic Me that I like to do, that I like to share with you. People the people don't like to try this, especially uh, people who are wine connoisseurs, they usually stick to a wine. Um, you know, and if you get some of beautiful during vineyards or it's Cabernet Sauvignon, don't play with it. If you have extra wine and you don't have a lot of people, you can play with it and, and then experience if you're not eating. But if you're eating, stick to buying a bottle, Cabernet Sauvignon or Merlot, and just going with it. Welcome back to Wintastic Me, guys. It's been a pleasure. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and get to my chicken and uh, my Cabernet Sauvignon right here. Proverbial Cabernet Sauvignon from, and a little bit of the blend uh, that I blended with Cabernet Sauvignon with Raymond Vineyards. That's to die for. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good one. <laughs> Till next one. Oh, if you don't forget to like the video, subscribe. <laughs>